Let's play some live music, which is why Richard Skinner's down in our basement studio. Richard. That's right, Andy. With me, the Style Council, Paul Weller and Mick Torbus, who are girding their loins and preparing for a live performance. Uh, two songs they're going to do for us. And I think we're going to kick off with uh, Le Départ. Is that the right way to pronounce it, actually, Paul? Not really, no, but... You Close. Know. Close. I, I wish you luck, gentlemen. You're on the air. I always feel that we ought to applaud at the end of this, instead of which there's always total silence in the studio here. Mick, it's actually, if I can turn to you first, I have to make you share my microphone, I feel. But uh, talking about, like, the piano and the organ, do you think it's now a, a, a real return to real piano, real organ, getting away from that sort of synthesizer time that we went through? What do you reckon? Uh, no, I don't think there is, actually. Well, I, it's, just, it's, just, <laughs> it's just something I'm quite happy with. I'm a bit of a, a nature boy. So uh, there's room for both, then, in, in the, the sort of scheme of things as they stand now? Oh, yeah, there's, there's room for both, but uh, Paul's more the electronics wizard in the band, you know. He, he knows how to drive synthesizers and stuff, And uh, <laughs> but I've just been, you know, I've always been around pianos and things, and uh, I like sort of natural-type instruments. Yeah. Actually, they do seem to have a lot more soul in them somehow, or feeling, or emotion, or whatever it is, than, than most synthesized things. Yeah, I think so, but I think, uh, you know, you can get... You know, I like synthesizers on some records, but uh, I can't take too much total electronic music. Right. Horses for courses. Paul Weller was uh, sitting quietly by. Hey, oh, you've got your own microphone, Paul. Yeah. Well done. Use it. Uh, the interesting thing, <laughs> the whole thing about Paris and travel and things like that, I read in one of the papers this week, I think, where you jokingly said that you were thinking of going into the Alps to record with alpine horns and things yeah. like that. But, I mean, is this foreign travel um, attitude, you know, helpful or genuine or just a, a little joke or what? <coughs> no, no, we're serious about it. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think, you know, I think it's quite interesting to just, um, it's a bit like sending your friends postcards, but only in a big way. Do you think going to Paris actually did help anything on this EP? I mean, did it change it, make it something it wouldn't have been? I think, no, I think it, you know, I think it did help. It did in help, um, enhance the songs, you know. I mean, no, no doubt it would have come out, you know, probably just as, just as good if we, if we had a stayed in London or something, but just certain things, just the way we felt about it, it made it a bit more... Yeah. 
Which is quite a funny sign. Yes, he is, isn't he? What's he doing? He's he's not, he's, I think he's, he's making it shorter mace, or something. He's a mason. Tighter. Right? <laughs> he's, um, but I think, um, yeah, like, I think Mick, what Mick's saying is that, is, um, you know, we had the accordion on his, you know, proper French accordion. Great. Got it. The squeeze box. Right. Well, we haven't got one of those here today. I was fascinated by your video, um, the, the, the the punting on the cam video that I saw on the pops this week, on top of the pops. Yeah. Do you think that that visit to Cambridge has also sort of affected you? I see that you're you're in a sort of vaguely beat nicky mood today, aren't you? Wearing the dark am, yeah. shades and things like that. Only because I was doing your show, though, really. Oh, that's good of you. <laughs> you finally sussed me out. I mean, only, I mean... You know, there's only like, I mean, there's mainly cats who listen to it, isn't it? Oh, my goodness, the dogs are all out, don't worry. <laughs> yes. What about that new oh, yeah. show? Well, keep it clean, all right? <laughs> that new show on television, Hot for Dogs, have you heard of that? <laughs> right, the new image I'm, I'm intrigued by as well. The, uh, the brill-creamed hair for uh, Mr. Weller. And even the, the hint image. of a moustache coming through there as well. No, no, it's just, I've got all these, I've got these great big coal sores on my lips so I can't oh, shave right. at the yeah. moment. Okay. It's a bit like Paul Weller, the elephant man. <laughs> But uh, why did... What did you say? We were talking about, the, um, talking about the video. Yeah, we were, yes. It's, you know, it's uh, quite a stylish... I know, I know you always kind of like rushes through every time we come on the show and that. I don't oh, know. rubbish. But, you know... Um, All the time in the world. It's, you know, actually, it was... <laughs> I think I would like to say, you know, some of it was, um, it was ed edited, which we was really annoyed about. Really? It was a bit... It was censored, in it? They censored a bit? Yeah, which I thought was a bit stupid. What did they cut out? <laughs> There's a bit of me and Mick frolicking on, the, on this um, tablecloth. What, just sort of leaping around a bit, or...? Just sort of stroking, stroking each other's ears. Right, and that was that a very important. Well, they, I wonder why they cut it. I didn't think. I didn't. Think, I thought they felt it had certain connotations. Mm. But what annoys me most of all is that if it had been a, a you know, a boy and a girl, it'd been quite acceptable. And even if it'd been two girls, it would have been as well. It's a sort of abba. And I mean, this is just like yeah. um, this is just like the kind of square mindness we're fight, we're trying to fight against. Yeah. Very stylish video, I must say. I thought the, some of the, the pictures in it were very, very good indeed. Who yeah. produced it, by the way? So Tim Pope has done all our videos so oh, far. He's good. We, we really worked well with him. It was a good one. Together. All right. Maybe we'll have a chance to see the full version sometime on television. Yeah. What about live work for the Style Council? The, the, I keep hearing murmurs that you are going to be going out live soon. I, I mean, there's a nod there from Paul and a, <coughs> a dodgy look from Mick no, here. So. I'm the last to hear about anything, so uh, <laughs> you probably know a bit more than me about it. Right. Mr. Weller, what's going to happen? No, we will, um, you know, we definitely want to do some live gigs, and we, and we will do some this year, but I don't think till, uh, probably not till December. Mm -hmm. It'd be um, rather nice to go out in this sort of situation, wouldn't it, and play a few small, intimate well, clubs? Well, we thought about this, we, and it's something we'd probably do next year. We felt, we thought we might do, um, have a more like a like, very small little combo. And maybe do something like that, which we can't. We're not. We, we, you know, we haven't got. We don't want to get any fixed plans at all. We just want to keep changing the lineup, like we said originally. Anyway, right. so we'll have. We'll have probably this year. We we'll probably we we'll probably do some gigs with um with a brass lineup. But I think we we'll change it. I think we we'll probably get. You know, one idea is to have uh, some strings next year. Maybe you know dip. And just, I think you know, you're trying to include a little bit of sort of classical yeah. feeling into it. And don't forget the alpine horns as well. We bring them along. Well, you know, we are, we are actually, you know, probably one of the first places we'd probably play you know, would be Switzerland. Great. Right at the top of a mountain somewhere. Look forward to it. Um, anyway, we've got you here live performing today, and the second of the two numbers you've got is the Paris match itself. Right. All right, look forward to that, and I think that your microphone comes into play this time around. Yes. Yeah, a little bit of a reverb on it. A bit of reverb. Well, can we put the reverb on? We'll just put the reverb. Just test the reverb there, Paul. Ah, oh, perfect. Mr. Weller, Mr. Talbot, thank you for talking to us. Right, Here's you. the Paris match.
This really is the return of live radio, you know, that was the Style Council and the Paris match performed exactly as you heard it on Saturday Live. Andy. Thanks very much indeed, Richard. One Paul singing well there as well. I was listening to it up here, really enjoy. I'm sure people don't believe us <laughs> when we say that they are playing absolutely live, but they really are. We've got some other big names behind.